Welcome to the channel. This is Technoscope. The OB202 by OBI connects to Google Voice to give you free phone service anywhere you have a broadband connection. Click the video card above or visit the link in the description below for the full review. Okay guys, this video is a little unscripted, so bear in with me, there will be plenty of uns and there will be plenty of basically's. I know that that's a kind of a trigger word for some of you guys, uh, but anyway. This video was requested on Instagram by a few people. Uh, basically, what I um, what happened was I, I redid my office. If you haven't seen that, go look at the office tour to see how it looks now. And what I did was I pulled out my old equipment here, which basically took the uh, video signal from my devices and sent it to the computer and to my capture card. So the reason that you're probably here is because you have some kind of device that you want to record that is DRM protected some kind of way. I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I want to point out first and foremost, this is not for people who are trying to bootleg anything. This is for fair use or something that's needed uh, to overcome the one-on-one -on -one consumer limitations placed on uh, hardware devices. I fully support buying content. If, if, if somebody makes something that you, that you love, make sure that you support that developer. That's the only way that we keep getting the entertainment that we have in this industry. Uh, with that said, there are times when you want to bypass some of the copy protections uh, because for one, you may have um, a situation like if you're if you're if you're a gamer, which is probably most of the people that are coming to this video, you have encountered um, problems using your PS4 or using the I think even the PS3 had this problem. Um, you've probably encountered. Um, uh, problems with uh, the Nvidia Shield. Uh, that's not a that's not a big device for streaming. It, it it actually has Twitch built into it. But say that you um, weren't streaming. Say that you weren't streaming directly to Twitch, and you needed to record your footage, or or you needed to um, to stream it through a computer for whatever reason. The, the limitations on placed on Android TV as a whole, the entire platform is designed to work with copy protection. So if if you're, say you were reviewing the Shield or the Nexus player like I have done, you need something, a solution like this uh, to get past those copy protections just so that you can do what you need to do to make your videos. Now, the guy that does all the magic here is this one right here. Uh, this is what they call an HDMI splitter. Now, the original intent for one of these is for commercial use, uh, stores, uh, uh, malls, displays, things where you will have one source, but you will have that one source hooked to many different screens. Copy protection is designed so that everything works on a one-to-one -one basis, so you have one Blu-ray player, and you have one, um, you have one uh, screen. So what this does is, it is this is called a one by four splitter. They have different ones. They have some that only split the signal into two. There's some that splits it into up to eight. Uh, that's the biggest I've seen. But they they might even have others, and you could probably have them custom built if you have enough money. What this does is, you have one input which is this guy right here and you have four outputs now the way this works is you will take your HDMI cable plug it into the output and the output will go to your first TV or screen or whatever what have you in the, in the gaming <clears throat> you'll have your capture card and you'll have your monitor or TV or whatever, what have you, right? 
HDMI output number one is the one that controls everything. This is very important. This output right here goes to a copy protected device. So it's not completely just bypass everything. You must have something in the loop that actually supports HDCP. So the number one will go to your TV or your HDCP compliant monitor. And what happens is this guy right here copies the code uh, I think it's a string of some kind. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how that works, but I know that this copies what your TV does or your monitor does and basically replicates it on the other outputs. So even if you use a monitor that's not HDCP compliant or if you use a capture card, these three outputs will still work for that device and will allow you to record or display your video on other screens. So what you'll do is again you'll have your input which is that that port right there and on your input that's coming from whatever your source may be and on the other ones that one will go that's that port will go to the HDCP compliant device and then your other ones your other outputs will go to whatever other um, uh, display or capture devices that you have that you need to record to or display video on. Now, where, the, where does the switch come into play? Now, the switch comes into play where you will have more than one source device. This is only one, a one to four splitter. You can see right here, it says one to four. You only have one input. So what if you have more than one device? Well, that's where the switch comes into place. So this is basically the opposite of a splitter. Uh, they're much more common. These you can get at like Home Depot, or not Home, well, I guess Home Depot might sell them, but Best Buy, um, Micro Center, Fry's, uh, maybe even Walmart. Splitters are pretty common these days because a lot of cheap TVs only have one or two inputs and you need to have more than one. So even if you aren't using this, say you have a TV with very limited HDMI inputs, the HDMI splitter is what you really need to be able to hook up multiple devices to a TV. Both of these, to make this, this solution work for copying, both have to be HDCP compliant. Both of them have to support the same standard. These two are, are 1080p, which is why they are not in my, in my setup anymore. I'm trying to upgrade everything to 4K and by the way, 4K uses HDCP 2.2, which is much more strict and a lot harder to get working. So if you're new at this, stick with 1080p, do the old standard, it's much more forgiving. 4K requires a, a uh, direct connection to a device before it unlocks the video stream and then you can go through devices like this. Um, I, I was able to get it to work once with uh, my shield in 4K going to my computer. Um, it worked fine once I got it working, but it took a long time to figure out how to make it work. So if you're new to this, definitely stick with 1080p. Okay, so the switch, what happens here is all your devices will connect. This is a five to one HDMI switch. So all your all your devices, and on this particular, on a switch, it doesn't matter, uh, it doesn't matter what device connects to what port you just start at one and fill them up as you go and the output here if you're only using a switch the output will obviously go to your tv if you need to record gaming however you will still need a splitter so what happens here is we take the the output from the HDMI switch, which is this port over here, and we go directly into the input of the splitter. So what happens is no matter what devices you put in here, this guy right here will make sure that the HDCP compliance is there so that you can display it on multiple screens or you can uh, display it on your monitor while capturing onto your computer. Now, one thing that you will that you will remember is that I said you must have an HDCP compliant device in the loop, right? 
usually on for game capture uh, people that are on a on a PC or uh, that are capturing with their PC, uh, you will have your monitor will be your HDCP compliant device. If your monitor is not HDCP compliant, you will have to use in a TV or a monitor that is somewhere in the loop, and that device again must be comp must be plugged into HDMI out uh, one. Yeah. That's your HDCP compliant device. The capture card, the uh, non HDCP compliant monitors can can connect to two, three, and four, but you must have one that's that's compliant plugged into one. So on my particular setup, my my fifty inch monitor is HDCP compliant. So I have a um, I have a I use a, the splitter. So the output for one goes directly to my monitor, which is HDMI one, and I use my monitor on Display Port. So uh, I can I can switch over to one if I want to see real time, which basic. Well, by the way, gets rid of any lag you'll have with capture card. So there's also a fix for that solution. Um, I can switch over to HDMI one, see real time. It gives it the HDCP compliance that I need, and it also allows the capture of my gaming or the device that I'm reviewing. So with all that said, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the computer and show you some uh, things that I've done. Uh, just just give you an example of how this, how this looks. Okay guys, I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration of this setup. Uh, basically I have my PS4, my Xbox One, the Shield, and the Nintendo Mini all hooked to the uh, switch, the new switch and uh, splitter that I have. Now, I'm not going to show you the NES Mini because Nintendo trips on having recorded content for their, their on uh, YouTube. Uh, but I'm going to show you the other three. So this is the Xbox right now. As you can see, it's working just fine. Uh, the Xbox really isn't a um, problem uh, with recording content in the first place, um, but just to sh give you an idea. <laughs> uh, but basic, basically, this is uh, this is Gears of War 4, if you didn't know that. Uh, most of you should know that by now. Uh, well, that's over. I'm sure that's not the last of them. But you can see then that let's lay down more fortifications. Uh, Make things as suboptimal for them as possible. Wow. Talking like that, it might make you a second. Oh, really? This is because I'd rather die in a fire. Hey, uh, where things are going, you'll see just get your wish. in 4K. Um, but just to let you know what you're seeing here. This is recorded through the capture card. Uh, the display source is my monitor. Xbox. So now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the PS4 so you can see that. Now the PS4 has a setting to turn the HDCP on and off. Sorry, I can never find it when I need to. Okay, here it is. So you can see that it's turned on right now, but you can still see the output from the PS4. And even though it doesn't really bother, it really doesn't affect games or anything, you can see, you can see it works just fine. No. over to the shield so 
So this is the shield. Now, the thing about Android TV, no matter what's on the screen, everything is under copy protection at all times. So what you're seeing right now is even copy protected. Now, the shield does have a way, an internal way to stream directly to Twitch. Uh, but if you wanted to stream to something else, another service like YouTube or one of the others, you would need a an external uh, device. And unfortunately, with the copy protection, you wouldn't be able to use it. But since I have the splitter on here, it's removing that copy protection so that not only can I get it on my screen, but you can also um, see that I'm recording it for the purposes of this video. Now, just to give you an idea that it's actually working this is Netflix right here, and you can see, even even though it's net, it's uh, showing Netflix, the video is still working, and it's still it's still capturing the video, even though it's got the copy protection in place. Now I'm not going to show much of that because I don't want to get flagged, um, but this was just a quick demonstration and uh, explain explanation of how to use. Uh, a splitter and uh, switch together to uh, let you cop uh, capture uh, your multiple sources for content on whatever streaming platform you use this is again guys this is not for copying things don't use this to bootleg you can you'll need this to to do your streaming and things like that but when it comes to uh, content sources, please, guys, go out and buy the DVD, the Blu-rays, or the digital content, and and pay our the creators of the content that we love. That way, they still make things like Captain America: Civil War. It costs a lot of money to make that movie, so we have to support cre content creators uh, so that we keep getting it. Uh, but anyway, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions or anything, leave those in the comments below. My name is Elemento, and this is Technoscope. Technoscope is a Twisted Curve production.